Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Another hamster, Little Squeak Jr. She has come up a lot in rotation, but that's only because I think she's a queen, a queenie, a sweetie. I thought it was a mixture between sweetie and cutie. So she's a little cutie and I just was showing her off again because I really, really love her a lot. She is just an awesome little hammy. Even though her anti-camera gyroscope is very, very active right now and she's trying to get on the back of my hand. I don't know why they want to be on the back of my hand and not the front, but she's a cutie, though she's well over a year old now, so she's she's gotten old as a Syrian. Here we go, little sweetheart. You go in there. She's a little cutie. Today is 6.55 a.m. Well, it's not 6.55 a.m. as a date, but it is 6.55 a.m. It is Monday, the 25th of September. Yay! It's the inexorable march of time. What I have over here, my now 21, approximately 21? He was born in 96, so 2006, 2021. My 21-year-old son, whom I consider my son, he's, you know, from my, he's my wife's child from a previous relationship, but I've been his father figure since he was five years old until her death three years ago. At which point he moved to Montana with some cousins so he could finish high school. He would messed up high school enough here there was no way he was going to be able to graduate. So he went to Montana, got into the school system there, finished up high school, graduated. Now he lives in Montana. He's a phlebotomist in a hospital there. So he picked up after his mother's stuff because she spent the last, well, most of her adult life as a licensed practical nurse. And now he's working in healthcare too. I'm very proud of him for that. That's very, very cool. I think more people should work in healthcare because it brings you in contact with people, people that are very vulnerable and need help. And while that's not a good spot to be in, it is really nice and a good feeling to be able to help. So thumbs up on that. So he's working over there. But, oh, wrong, I gotta remember that everything is mirrored. So this is his Casio CTK471 keyboard. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. It's got like these song banks and tempo banks and chord banks. It's absolutely astonishing. If you know how to play keyboard, it's pretty cool. I have no idea if it works. The power supply, and it's been in my storage unit for the past three years, and I just took it out like a month ago. And it's not a heated or, you know, humidify free, humidity free, not humidify free, humidity free place. It's just been a, you know, here goes the door, you open it up and shut it, and then there is the storage unit. There is no heating or anything. So, so a lot of electronic stuff has been destroyed. A lot of other stuff that doesn't take moisture well has gotten destroyed. But that's okay. A lot of the stuff I've kept, I just threw in there out of desperation because I was losing my house. I couldn't move stuff. I was on my own and I was barely able to shuffle with a walker at that point. So my friends helped me just get everything even halfway salvageable into the storage unit so I could go through it later. So there's a lot of junk and then there's stuff like this, which actually I would love to find out if it still works. But without the power supply, I can't. Now, I have found out that they're anywhere from like five bucks to like 15 bucks on eBay and Amazon. Amazon sells the power supplies for this. I don't have any money. I've talked about how I have no money. I'm minus 300 in my checking account. And every month after I pay the rent, I have no money. And I'm spending negative amounts once I pay my rent which I've talked about that situation too. I've got to talk to my housemates because my paying more money than I make just to stay here is not good. So, thumbs up. And that's that bugs me too. I try not to talk about it because of microaggressions against people that aren't here to defend themselves. So I don't like to talk about this. That's the biggest reason I don't talk about the situation. Not because I'm embarrassed, not because of this, but because there, it involves people that 
aren't here to be able to defend themselves. So I don't want to say anything bad. But I got, I'm trying to tell you about the situation without making it be horrible. But of course the thing is, it's not going to be good if I go to talk. And I've got to talk because I can't keep spending 1,400 bucks to live here when I make, you know, less than a thousand because I'm negative each month. So thumbs up. I hate the microaggressions thing. I and so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore for a while, for a long time, just because of the whole microaggressions part and I'm sorry. But it's it's wonderful. But again, it takes either six AA batteries or the uh, nine volt power supply, nine, however many volts and watts it is. I can't, it's well, 120 volt, you plug it into the wall, but it has all the various parts to bring it into the, you know, electrical system that it can use. And so I have no idea if it works. I hope it does. I'd love to get a power supply. It's a Casio CTK471. I'd love to find out if it works, but I don't have a power supply. I don't have any money. I mean, the last time I had money was five months ago. I mean, I can't even buy shoes because as soon as I pay the rent, I'm negative. So I can't buy shoes and I've got a great big hole in the sole of my right shoe and I can't buy shoes. I don't have any money. So thumbs up. Plus now I'm eating like once a day because we don't really have food. But that's... Nobody's trying to uh, starve anybody. Nobody really gets to eat. So I'm going to have to be going to the food bank now. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, apply for anything more than just myself. Because uh, as much as we live in, a, in the same house, we're not family members or any such. And the food bank stuff is set up for like families. So even though we live in the same household, we're not a family, so I don't know if I could get more food than for just one person. It's hard economically. When my wife was alive and I used to go there ages and ages ago, we would come out with not just, you know, one laundry basket full of food, but it would be heaped. We got a lot of stuff, but then the hard economic times started. And before I stopped going there for various reasons, largely pain, I couldn't go and stand, I couldn't walk and carry. But the last few times I went, instead of a full thing that was heaping with food for me and my family, it was like a quarter filled. And that was with them pushing to try and make sure I got enough food for my family because no one can afford to donate. So thumbs up on that. Yeah, so I got to start going to the food bank and getting food because I eat like once or twice a day. And generally it's like I'll have a, like yesterday I had a scrambled egg sandwich, two eggs with mayonnaise on bread. And until my housemate actually made some food last night, because I can't cook with this hand. I set a, uh, we've got wooden spatulas with the silicon ends and I was cooking the eggs with that. I set the spatula on fire. The wooden handle caught on fire because I accidentally dropped it, this hand, onto the red hot element. So thumbs up. So it's, it's difficult for me to, to cook so I don't cook and I made that and that was going to be it. If my housemate hadn't made some food last night, cut up some some potatoes and cooked those and then added eggs to it, there wouldn't have been a dinner and I would have had two scrambled eggs and mayonnaise and two slices of bread and that would have been it yesterday. We just don't have a lot of food and it's not anybody's fault. Life is life. But yeah, I keep coming back to that, I know. I just want to find out if it works. And, and what, what do I do? That's the thing. What do I do if it does? I don't know how to do music. I can't read music. And this hand especially. Even before I paralyzed this hand, it was not... I couldn't play the piano. I My hands are clumsy, even without the nerve damage. So, thumbs up. I mean, what will I do? About the best I've ever been able to do is, you know, go that don dun 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 on the black keys. You just go ding 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 ding. 
Don't dan don 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 dan dan don dan don dan don 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 And that's about it for all that I can play. So even if I did get a power supply, what on earth would I do with that? I can't make music. I don't make disc tracks. I don't know how to write music. And even if I did make music, I'd have to use the chords and the songs it's got in its memory banks. And that's not, that's their stuff. That's not my stuff. I don't even know if that stuff's protected by copyright. Oh my, I think I got a zip right there. Ow, yeah, that kind of hurts. That's a zip. Oh, nice. Let me cover that up. A failing of my body. I hate being organic. I would love to be cybernetic. I'd love to have my brain and spinal cord flash frozen and then taken and inserted into the thing with the fusion power supply so that I ran, you know, a human mind running in crystal, still running in an AI body. That'd be awesome. I'd do that in a heartbeat. Well, yeah, you have headwear. Who'd have to connect out otherwise? If you're griddling, just go, oh, let me check that. Oh, man. Yeah, I just read up on that. That's not good. That'd be freaking awesome. As it is, I'd love to live in a time and a place where I could just go fuck and then jack into the internet just by plugging the cord into the uh, plug that I've got in the base of my skull. I hope we have a future like that. I hope we have any future. I don't think we have a future, personally. I don't see any hope for the human race. Not as long as we have people like, well, you know, the Cheeto in office in the U.S. When you're tweeting and going up in front of the U.N. and going, yeah, Rocket Man over there in North Korea. Okay, you're already a child. You're name calling. That's, that's children's activity. You're a spoiled child. Unfortunately, this guy's been a spoiled child his entire life. He is one of those that's really, really big among the rich, where you use a ladder that climbed you up and above everybody else, and then the first thing you do is pull up the ladders that people can't come up behind you. Just about everybody in Washington who has money, the first thing that they did once they got up above the rest of us was pull up the ladder that got them there. You see so many people that are making laws that they use like affirmative action. If it hadn't been for affirmative action, they wouldn't even have gotten into college. And thus, they would never have had a career in politics. And the first thing they do when they get into office is abolish affirmative action in their state so that no one can climb up that same ladder after them. People knock it off. You're going to get the poor so pissed off at you. It's going to be another heads off everybody. And there's a lot more poor people than there are non-poor people with weapons. And you can't kill everyone unless you bomb the country. And if you're going to bomb the country, maybe you should just shoot yourself right now. Because you are, well, you're barely human as it is. So thumbs up. I have no idea what I've been talking about other than this and then just suddenly ranting, but I just know that I'm in 13 minutes and 40 seconds. I need to open up 24 hours worth of comments on my channel because I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people, kind commenters. Now, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read the comments. I'm going to answer as many as I can. I'm going to thumbs up everyone that I do read. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment, whether it is a good comment, a bad comment, or an indifferent comment. Whether you are saying you are a wonderful human being, or you're telling me I should get cancer and die, or if you're just saying you are a human being, this was a video. Thank you so much for leaving a comment. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with people, that's a wonderful thing. Thank you so very much. If you'd like a shout out, just ask for it. I'll give you one if I catch it. I'm an American English speaker. We are terrible at pronouncing names. I'm better than most, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. So when and if I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. It's just sheer, I don't know how to say it. Oh, and tomorrow I'm going to have this beard trimmed off. It's reached the annoyance length for me, so it's going to be trimmed down to like Don Johnson, Miami Vice back in the 80s length. 
So first up, I would like to say thank you to Alex Medina. Thank you very, very much. Conspo Lopez, thank you. I've grown used to seeing your name in the comments. Thank you. And Elia Niskel, thank you very, very much. Lambo Rambo, greatly appreciated. Mateus Bulger, thank you very, very much. Joshua Siegendaller, I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Jorge Garcia, thank you very, very much. And Hayden Deal, I hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Modern World Expert, thank you. Greatly appreciated. Claude5190, son of a gun. And then there's Dark Shadow Pranks, heck of a name. Thank you very much. Julia Bainey, I hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Uh, pound sign XXX Tentacion, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Harold Jones, thank you very, very much. And Light, <laughs> L-I-G-H-T, very easy, thank you. And JLTS76, thank you very, very much. The Wanted, thank you, greatly appreciated. I know I say the same thing, but I don't know how to say it differently and make it not sound really weird. You know, because I, I don't want to just go like, hey, greetings and salutations, just so I don't say appreciated. And Ukri Rotolimpi? I'm nowhere close, but thank you very, very much. The, <laughs> this is how I, I, I show you what I mean. My a shout out to The Finest, who was a horrible jackass in the comments and ended up getting reported for abuse because he dipped into racial hatred comments. So his comments, those are gone, reported to YouTube for spam and abuse. So thumbs up, but still, you got me out of my head and into the world. So thank you. And then there is Red Hot Chili, Th oh, no, it's this one. Red Hot Chili Fan 98, thank you very, very much. Gurren Lagan, greatly appreciated. And I Corvo et Tano, I? Oh, that's nowhere close, but thank you very, very much. Sacred OG, thank you, greatly appreciated. Cephalinganar, hopefully I'm close. Thank you very, very much. And then last but not least, we have Mama Chell, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Did I do that right? 25 is what that symbol is. I count in American Sign Language. You can count to several thousand on the fingers of one hand. Actually, I think you can count to several million on the fingers of one hand. Thank you so very much. But now, if you could check out my links down below, that would be very awesome. I've got like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. Google Plus and my blog, son of a gun. The last thing I've written for my blog is just two pretentious fiction posts. If you ignore the pretension and check out the rest of it, it's pretty cool. I'm going to be writing more just stuff. So thank you very much. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, that would be awesome. I'm minus 300 and getting worse in my checking account. I've got a lot of stuff still coming out. If you could give me a hand, that would be very, very appreciated. Thumbs up on that. My thanks to every single one of my Patreon.com patrons. You are beautiful, awesome people. It's because of you I'm not homeless, literally. I am, a, these past few years, ever since my wife died, I have been skirting and living on the very edge of being homeless. It is because of you that I am not. Thank you so very, very much. Now, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes, deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you. If you could toss me a like, that would be greatly appreciated. I do appreciate, and I hate using that word so much, but I need to find a better word. All the positive validation I get for my existence, a definite thumbs up. Thank you very, very much. God, I got my window open because it's so freaking hot in this room. And so, of course, the, the forest out there, it is a bug from a factory. I got little gnats everywhere. And of course, they always go right for my eyes. Thumbs up for that. Where was I? Oh yes, I just said, if you cannot donate to blah, 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 blah which is very true, it is appreciated. And I said, if you have a like, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. But my personality has rubbed people wrong my entire life. If you didn't like my videos, I understand. If you don't like my channel and don't wanna subscribe, I understand. But if you're down with it, I will do my darndest to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Definite thumbs up. Well, shucks. I got a reaction video coming up. I got at least one game video coming up on this channel. Hopefully something for my game channel. My problem is I'm awake about 20 plus hours every single day. I am so exhausted. It's hard to get my game videos done for my game channel. Bloody gnats. But 
You take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. So you keep smiling, and I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing.